Hey guys, welcome to Behind the Scenes. It is Wednesday and we are still here sewing pants, which is very cool. Hi, Marcia. Great to see you. So if you've never been here before, say hi, say where you're from. I know that's old school, but if you're new, it's kind of fun to see where everybody's from. So uh, all the ladies are having lunch right now. The pants are coming along great. In fact, a few have already cut out their denim. So this week is going crazy fast. Last week was awesome. And this week is awesome too. So this has been so much fun. Two weeks of pants fitting and their lunches are looking good. So I'm gonna let you say hi to the ladies. I'm gonna make sure I pop them in here. And then I got a quick uh, tutorial for you today. I'm going to show you how to embroider pockets. Just an idea for you. I'm gonna be using the Brother Luminaire and well, you don't have to, you could use any machine, but I'm gonna show you something really cool you can do in my design center. So I see all of you rolling in. I'm assuming you can hear me. Arnell, great to see you. Karina's in the house. I see the whole Wolfpack rolling in. Susan, Susan, uh, I thought you only lived three hours away. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I said, Susan could just drive right back up and say hi to everyone. I guess you'd have to fly. All right, so I'm gonna switch the camera, let you see the ladies, and then I'll show you the pocket tutorial. And be sure you can ask your questions, anything you want, and I'll check the questions when I come back here. Sound good? All right, so let's switch over. Here's this, but I'll give a quick view to the ladies. Let's see here. You can see this is the pockets we're gonna work on. There's some denim that's being cut. Hey, ladies. It's lunchtime. <laughs> They're so quiet. They are actually talking, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and the other ladies are back here. Hello. Hello. Hey, guys. Enjoy your lunch. Hi, <laughs> Hey, look at your jacket. So those that wanted to know the couture jacket is yes, back in, but you got to see, show the lighting. Oh, wait, the camera went out. Hold on, you guys. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Did you see any of that, guys? Do I got to do this all over? Okay, look at the jacket. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Show the lining. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's the couture jacket, which just opened again and closes. It starts on October 15th. So, ladies, I don't know if it went blacked out when you were there, so say hi. Hey, Janet. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies that are eating are not masked, in case you're wondering, because I know you're going to ask me that, but... It's hard to eat through that thing. And Janet's cutting her denim here. Hey, girls. How's it going? Good. That's, you got the VIP seat down there, huh? Oh, yeah. That's where the problem children sit. That's where the problem children All right. So let me show you an idea for these uh, pockets, okay? So here is... My scanning mat. Now, if you have the Brother Dream Machine or um, some of the other Brother Machines that have the scanning mat, you could also do this on the app with the Stellaire, but I just happen to have this sitting here, so I thought this would be fun. So what I did is I printed off a back pocket of my jeans. Now, this is bigger than what I will use because it has the seam allowances, but that's all right. It'll work for this tutorial, and then I can really get some good designs in here, and then what I'll do is lay my pocket onto the denim to embroider. So first thing I'm going to do is scan in my pocket. There you go. I made it really dark so you can see it. <laughs> Put this in place. <laughs> okay, so the ladies are watching the show on their phones. <laughs> you can come over. You got a front row seat. <laughs> I got to just go say hi. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that you had the best story today. You want to share that story? Oh, sure. Okay, come over here just a little bit, and then they can hear you. Okay. You got to hear this story. So she's here with her husband. And my husband um, works uh, remotely, so he's in the hotel working. And one of his friends at work said, what are you doing in Michigan? And he said, oh, I'm just accompanying my wife on this trip for sewing. And he said, oh, who is she sewing with? And he said, you won't know her, it's Angela Wolf. And he said, oh, yes, I do. 
my boss's wife had me come over and install a computer <laughs> and set up so she can watch Angela Wolf at that's home. So, funny. so oh I, that's pretty funny. I think that's the best story of the week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the pockets. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I have this on the mat, the scanning mat, all right? And I'm making sure that my magnets are out of the way. And if you have the still air, you could just take a photo of this and it will go right into your app. But this is what we're doing right now. So then I'm going to take this over to the machine. <laughs> Everybody's giving the love on that one, Karen. That, that's the funniest <laughs> story. We, we all problem. thought that he was going to say from fishing. <laughs> all right, slide it into the machine. And then I'll just move this just slowly so you can see it. Make sure you can see the screen okay. There you go. Oh, yeah, you want to see the rest of the room set up? Okay, there you go. So here we have, because we need to be social distanced, all the machines are six feet apart back there. Look great, right? And then we got a big cutting table, and then we've got two pressing areas, and then here's where I sit, and then we have another pressing station back there. You can see back there, I don't know if you can see that. The girls have been enjoying the new Laura Star. They've also got to play on some of the Best Brother machines, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And this cabinet I'm using here, just in case I saw somebody ask how I got my luminaire on there, this actually goes up and down. And if you watch my hand here, so this table will actually go up and down so we could use it as a cutting table. You see how the whole table goes down? And then also it goes back up and the machine can be recessed in here. So everything in here, every day is like a new studio swap. I guess that's what you call it. All right, so I'm in here. <laughs> oh, they're up on my desk. <laughs> okay, so I'm in here. I have my frame right here. Thank you, my scanning mat. Oh, hey, you got to get that uh, Chloe Trench to oh. show somebody. That's so cute. All right, in here, go to my design center. And in here, I'm going to scan. Actually, that was the memory, sorry. I'm going to scan. And I'm just going to scan in an illustration design. You can do illustration or line design, either one. Actually, I'll show you. It's just a line, so let's try that. Do I keep hitting? There we go. Line design. Here we go. Scan. Just had to put my glasses on. It's recognizing. And while it's scanning, Deborah here is throwing on her Chloe trench. Janice got the Shirley on. Okay, while it's scanning, here, I'll show you. Janet, let's show off your little, go that way a little bit. Here you go. And she has a matching mask. How cute is that? So she's got the Shirley on and with some embroidery. Very cute. And the matching mask. You had a matching mask yesterday, too. If I make the shirt, I need to make the mask. Make the mask. All right. So here we go. Look at this, Deborah. This is so cute. So this is the Chloe Trench. You guys might have seen this. She had this on one time uh, with photos, but I'll tell you what, in person, it's uh, crazy. Crazy cute. Look at the inside. She even added some lighting in there. I absolutely love this fabric. You get an A+. Plus. And now show the inside of your other jacket while you're there, because now they can really see this. Both are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. So she's quilted this from the couture jacket class, and she made a matching scarf. Wait, let me get a close-up of the trim on it. I love that. And you also made a pin. There's no picture at all. Oh, thanks. There goes the picture again. <laughs> Did you were you able to see her jacket? Oh, here we go again. It's like a blackout. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why when I turn that way. Okay, let's see it again. Gorgeous. I love the, mm -hmm. that fabric is so pretty. And then show the inside one more time. Thankfully, I got the girls here telling me that the camera went out. Gorgeous. I love it. Great job. All right. 
So back to the pockets. Enjoy your lunch, girls. Thank you. And if it goes out again, just let me know. Okay, can you see this okay? So in here, I'm just going to just choose the pocket. Okay, so I'll bring that in a little bit closer so you can see it. And then just click, okay. And that's what shows up. So I'm not gonna embroider that. All I want that on there for is a guide. So I can actually see, I'm gonna trace over these lines and create some decorative stitches from my back pockets. Click set. And there you can see it really good. I'll bring it in a little bit closer. You guys see that okay? Mm -hmm. Great. All right. So now on here, if I click on, let's see, why don't we do paintbrush? And why don't I go under, oh, I don't know, satin stitch. Let's just do this satin stitch first so you can see what this looks like. I'm actually going to just use my finger because the angle I'm at with my camera is an awkward angle. So... Now, you could use a stylus too, but you see how I'm tracing right next to it? That's how easy you can do that. You don't like it, hit rewind. All right, so now I'll see if I can, without sticking my head in the camera, I'll see if I can do this. Yeah, I, it's a weird angle. Sorry. I'll just use my finger, so you'll have to bear with me. If you saw what I was doing around the camera right now, you'd be laughing, and the girls are probably taking photos. <laughs> Jazzercise. Jazzercise. We had Zuma today, didn't we? <laughs> Squirrels in the attic. <laughs> All right, so there's one line. Now, I could just keep drawing satin stitches, or maybe I want to go in here. Let's see what else we have. How about a decorative stitch like this? Or any of these would look really cool on pockets. How about this? Let's do that purple. Actually, I hit it twice, so I'm going to rewind. Rewind. Do it one more time. You won't be able to see this one because it's really thin, but I'm just following the same lines there. All right? And why don't we use this one another time just so you can see it because I think it's just – I'll use a different color now. How about a little stippling? Okay. All right, and let's do one more with some stars. Actually, those diamonds would look cool too. <laughs> there we go. Now you can't see very much here, but now when I go to this next, it will create the whole design I just drew. So I look at, now you can, I can re erase the background so you won't be able to see that, but let's just go to, you'll have options to change any of these. I'm just going to hit click set and take it to embroidery so you can see this. I can actually embroider the whole pocket or I can go back and erase all these, but can you see these decorative stitches in here? So the ladies are going to have so many different options here to go through this and they can make different lines. They can copy the whole pocket. In fact, sometimes what I'll do is I will actually embroider the whole pocket, and then I just cut around it, and then it gives me my little guide for where I turn it for the seam allowance. So there's a background in there right now that I was using earlier. So, all right, so I'm going to go back. Let's see. I'm going to click delete. I'll go back in here and show you one more thing you can do here. This time it's an illustration. While it's scanning, I'll just come and make sure you guys don't have any questions. Say hi. Uh, one of the girls said that they didn't get to see the jacket. Oh, they didn't? Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't circle? get to see the couture jacket. All right, so come on over here this way. Just watch your step. All right, come on, Deborah. Check out the jacket.
That's gorgeous. So look at the trim. You can see she even on the lining, she did the flower to go with it. I love the trim. And then show the lining because that was absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry you guys missed that. I didn't realize the pocket, the thing went out again. <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> awesome. Everybody say beautiful. Clovis says gorgeous. So, hey, Chris, do you uh, do you take the pocket off and then sew it back on? So we're actually sewing jeans from scratch. So that's one thing. If you're sewing jeans that you already own, you would remove the pocket and just be really careful because you don't want to rip your jeans. But you'd remove your pocket, scan, you just trace it, and then you do the same thing. Embroider on it and then go back. I agree. Oh, Lisa says gorgeous jacket. Everybody's saying, yeah, Lynn says it's raining in Florida, but you know what, Lynn, I think you're, I think last week when all the girls went back to Florida, they took all the good weather with them. <laughs> Isn't that what you'd say? Yes. Uh, Amy said her embroidery machine's not that high tech. <laughs> oh, hey, Trisha. Wait, Trisha's here. Did Trisha leave? She went to yeah. take her husband. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Trisha. <laughs> funny. Hey, Melody. I'm Melody, you took that good weather back with you guys last week. All right, so let's go back down here and I'll go take you back over here, all right? Okay, excellent. All right, let's go back. And I'll, if it goes back out, I'll try to pay attention and stop. Okay, so here we are again. Let's bring this in. So because the last one we did a line drawing, everything that we scanned in would turn into embroidery. Does that make sense? Now it's thinking. It's thinking, thinking. Yeah, it does take a little bit, especially when it's an illustration design. So some of you asked, again, while it's doing that, I wanted to show you on here, this was just paper. I traced around, I actually did this in Illustrator, but I traced around this to get that, okay? I did it in Illustrator and printed it. So now this is what I have. Mm -hmm. Click set. And now here's my design. So again, you can grab your paintbrush, pick what you want. I'll just do satin stitches for this one. There you go. Can you see the red on there? If I get it really close. I'll try to pick a bright color so you can see it. And then here, Let's pick a decorative stitch. I really, actually, I think there's a few in here that I really like. So when you click on here, you can get to all of these other designs. But this one right here definitely looks like designer jean, even more than a satin stitch. And when I'm drawing it, you really can't see it there. It's just a line. I can make my background a little bit lighter. I can make it darker if I want. There we go. And how about, let's do a few more of these. How about some, how about stars? And one more with stippling. How about, how about fish? I'm not sure that I want fish on my tush, but we'll just go with that. <laughs> Koi fish, but. <laughs> Koi fish, yeah. <laughs> That's a whole new embroidery. I hear it's storming. Click next. Yes, we did actually get our photo with the sign about 15 minutes ago, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Can you see how it, that one is gonna be very cool. I can see you girls using that with like a gray. Bring it in closer. Very cool. All right, if I go on return, I can save this to the memory to come back and play with this later, which I'm going to do. Save it to the machine. If you don't like something, you can erase part of things. Uh-oh. Here comes the lightning. Can you guys hear it? If we lose power, it's going to really put a damper on us sewing jeans, I got to say. We might have to go shopping. We might have to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Fabric store. Fabric store. Holland. So see how I get rid of this? <laughs> Oh, yeah, so you guys want to tell, the, uh, one of you is going to have to tell the story about that. Go ahead. Go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Oh, me. Uh, Hold on. I got to bring you guys around. If it goes black out, I'll bring it back. Here, Janet. Tell them what happened. So we were meeting up with Trish. There were four of us, um, go, five of us going um, to shop at Fields. And so just put in the GPS. We wanted to go to Fields um, Fabrics. So the GPS sent us. We get there. We're walking around. We're impressed with the fabric. And Trish called and said, I'm almost there. And we were like, OK, let us know when you get here. OK, I'm on a pink sweater. We're like, where is she? She called and she said, I'm in the store. Where are y'all? And we're going, it's not that big a store. Where? What door are you at? She was in Holland and we were in Kalamazoo. <laughs> so needless to say, we did not get to shop together. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. All right. I finished this here. See how I erased around the edges of the pocket? Click OK. And now I'm going to click Memory. Save it so I can come and play with it later because I'm sure I'm going to mess with this a little bit. And then click on Next. Now you can see those decorative stitches. Oh. Very weird. I mean, funny, but weird. <laughs> so <laughs> now uh, when I go to embroider, just a couple things about your jeans. And I'm borrowing somebody's scraps here. Don't get seasick. But now this hoop is not big enough for my pocket, but I just grabbed it because I have this on hand. So I use sticky back sta stabilizer, and then I will put the fabric on here. You could also hoop it, but you need a stabilizer. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> the storm is coming. You need a stabilizer behind this because this is a stretch denim, very light stretch, and it will stretch out your stitches. So as long as you have this on the back, so you could either just chalk your pocket in or just take this whole pocket that you're embroidering on here and then you can put your pattern on your fabric when you're finished and cut your pocket out. So that way you're not trying to cut your pocket and fit it here and make sure it all fits. Just make sure your grain line matches up. If you if you line up your grain line straight on your hoop, then you can line up your embroidery and then when you're all finished, just cut out your pockets and you're all good to go. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Does that wash away or is it going to stay in when you that's a uh, tear away. Tear away is what it is. Oops. So <laughs> that's it. Oh, uh, Pam says stunning jacket, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, is it is it uh, Arnell's anniversary? Oh, happy anniversary, Arnell. Happy happy anniversary. Everyone say happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> Everyone says got it, got it. So it's sticky tear away. Yes. That's what I use, Pam, because I can just throw that fabric on. But you could also just use tearaway. That's fine. And then just hoop the whole thing. But you need that stabilizer to stay in place. Because what hap even if I'm doing decorative stitches, sometimes I'll just draw the stitches in with chalk and follow it. If you're Even if you're doing that, I'll put stabilizer on the back. And then you have to use a sticky back to keep it there. Arnell says she's 54 years. Oh, wow. Yay. That's awesome. Yay. Is there squirrels out there? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we're feeding, we've been feeding the squirrels, and our ring doorbell keeps going off. So we're not sure if the squirrels coming up to the door try to get their nuts or what. <laughs> or get out of the storm. <laughs> um, Terry says, I'm late, but the AW logo would look great on the back pocket. Actually, Terry, I have my jeans. Somebody throw me a pair of my jeans. That's what I always end up doing because it just looks cute out there. The girls are throwing them. The studio is starting to look like home. Last week we did that, and now this week again. So see, this is a flat pocket. And I did it the same way, where I scan. I actually scanned in my logo into my design center, and it turned it into this. Yeah, you could use software too, but looks pretty cool, right? So these are the jeans that I made on the Craftsy class years ago that have never been worn, because I probably made them just a wee bit too small. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say, congrats, congrats. Yes, it's definitely uh, very, very rainy here. All right, well, we're going to go back. Oh, wait, let's see, Michelle. Yeah, you could use, Michelle, you could use um, spray to put that on too. Either way, whatever you have laying around. But it's not wash away, and that's what she was asking. I do too, Mary Lou. There's one more pair that had the logo in the like, little pocket area. No. Yeah, this one. Here's another idea for you on your coin pocket. 
So I just embroidered on the coin pocket and put that in there. And I like this pocket here where it kind of diagonal, diagonals, well, whatever you call that. <laughs> that oh, cool. thanks, Amy. And yes, thanks, I agree. All right, so we're gonna go back to sewing. If you guys don't have any more questions, but that was your quick tutorial for the day. Now tomorrow, don't forget, on Brother Sew's page, uh, uh, there will be, I had to think for a second, Jerry Granada and Barbara Jones are going to talk about quilting. Now, Jerry's going to show free motion quilting, which I love. And Barbara's going to show how to quilt with um, the embroidery. We call it quilt embroidery. And that's going to be very cool, too. So there should be some pretty cool tutorials tomorrow, especially if you have one of those machines. You'll learn a lot. So, all right, guys. Well, have a wonderful day. You girls want to say goodbye to... Bye! Bye. Here, I'll, I'll switch your camera. Nothing. There you go. Hey. It's on you now. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Everybody's done eating, so we got to let them go. Bye. 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 We'll be sharing photos. All right. Very cool. I think I'm looking at a chair now. All right. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. And, yes, we will be on Fashion Sewing Club on Friday. Susan wants to know who's going to be the guest host Ooh. Janet Janet uh, Janet everybody's saying Janet so fashion swing club we'll see you at noon on Friday and we'll have lots to show you so bye girls great to see you